Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, man, you know it don't work without you guys. So, you know, we are dealing with hunkering down. I, for one, have not left my property since Wednesday. I have been hunkering down. It's not that uh, we have been told that we have to hunker down. We haven't gotten one of the mandatory... Uh, only necessity leaving the property and stuff, but I'm trying to do what I can to make sure I don't get it. I don't want no Corona. I'm not a beer drinker and I definitely don't want no coronavirus either. So I'm just trying to do what I can to control what I can. And I would like to think that more people are doing this than not. Don't wait till you start having your community decide, oh, maybe I should have been in because by then it might be too late. So Keep your ass at home. I'm telling you. Hashtag keep your ass at home. Keep it at home. Now, I see him. Some people out for a walk. That's okay. That's okay. Because, see, like, my daughter sent me a picture. You know, she's out there in California. And she's like, Dad, the air. I've never seen it like this out here. There's no smog and everything else. It's like blue sky and things. So enjoy this weather. You know, it'll probably do you good to go out for a walk. Just keep your distance, okay? And make sure when you come back in, you wash your hands, okay? And if you're sick, stay home. That's what we got to do. This is a new world here. And so, you know, I'm, I'm keeping myself busy. I've actually gone through, I've shampooed the carpets in my man cave. And uh, later on, I may do a live stream. Um, the, the only problem for a lot of you guys, I'm hearing this from you, is you're not getting notifications about my videos. And I apologize for that. But basically, YouTube says you get three notifications in a 24-hour period. After that, you're doing too damn much. Sorry, it's just like that. But um, I'm going to be doing a live stream from inside the man cave because I'm going to be taking some stuff off the wall and rearranging some things. And I need your help with it because we're trying to stay busy to keep our mind clear and our mind off of things and also try and improve our situation. Um, I'm doing a video a day about uh, hunkering down and tips to help make it through in case shit gets bad. Because in, in the end, we all need to be like a MacGyver right now, okay? We got to figure out how to use what we got. So I was sitting here thinking about all of this stuff, and I was sitting at the desk there um, writing out the, the names for the channel members uh, to get their shot glasses and stuff. And making a label because my daughter's running out of toilet tissue and paper towels so I, I, I'm going to go ahead and get that stuff packed up so we can get that stuff sent out tomorrow and I started thinking about our Dallas Cowboys because I'm always thinking about our Dallas Cowboys and here's the problem for say the Dallas Cowboys right now um, we can pretty much say that at this current time OTAs aren't going to happen we're not going to have team working out not anytime soon i would think it's going to be at a minimum of you know eight weeks and if we say eight weeks from now before they finally say the coast is clear so it's uh almost april so we say april may so we're talking about maybe not until june at you know best and it might be july before you know we're able to i don't don't quote me don't quote me i'm just saying you got to be realistic that this thing is still on the upswings. We don't know how bad it's going to get and things like that. But for the teams like the Dallas Cowboys that have a new coaching staff in there, this is going to be kind of problematic because you're looking at a change in defensive philosophy. You're going to have guys playing in different positions, doing different roles. You're going to have different terminology. You're going to have different play calling. You're going to have new wrinkles and hopefully more innovation on offense. And that's one of those things that, you know, normally you have a lot of classroom, you know. You, you end up meeting together. You go over. You look at film and things. And as I think about how this pandemic is going to change a lot of things and have us evolve, I, I see us becoming more of a video culture. I mean, we already have, have the internet and everything else. We have video conferencing. The fact that you know, we can Skype each other back and forth and all these different technologies. I'm wondering if the Dallas Cowboys will start doing classroom work via Skype to start doing team meetings. 
make any sense? I mean, I would imagine that they would be, but you know, the Cowboys had always been in, uh, excuse me, innovators under guys like Tom Landry, not so much under Jason Garrett. I still would like to know anything that he innovated with the Cowboys, but be that as it may, he's gone, so we won't kill him. But I'm assuming that the team will start meeting uh, once, you know, usually April 15th is when you start, you know, beginning of OTAs around that time, which is only three weeks from now. That's not going to happen. So I'm imagining that they're going to probably start teleconferencing, you know, wide receivers and quarterbacks, you know, the offensive line, the defensive line. So that way they can start working on stuff and getting ahead. Now, one other thing I want to say here, I'm getting ready to go do some work here in the yard because it's still kind of chilly out here. But every day, the plants, you can see them begin to come up. You know, you see the flowers begin to bloom. The grass, good Lord, I need to cut the damn grass. Finally, I got some grass growing back here. After all my hard work last year, I finally got some grass growing. So I need to work on that. And I'm also working on my front yard because my front yard, well, I got one of the worst front yard lawns in the neighborhood. So I'm, I'm, I'm working on pulling all those eagle weeds out of there. They're a mess and uh, tilling it up. But I want to give a shout out to NFL players because there's a lot of them that are doing great things right now in the community. I see my buddy Demario Davis, him and his wife, you know, are, are giving you tips on, you know, keeping the kids healthy and happy and, and so forth. I see um, the hot boys, hot boys, and D-Law um, going through and uh, doing work in the community and helping out. But uh, D-Law, 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 and crew. You guys are a little close. Social distance. Keep, keep, keep away. I don't need you to get corona. I don't need you to get corona. Last year we had the shoulder issue. I, I don't need you to get corona. So keep, the, I appreciate the work in the community. Keep your distance. But shout out to, to the Hot Boys and D-Law, you know, because they are like, like uh, J.J. Watt and like uh, Russell Wilson and Sierra. They're realizing that we are all a community and trying to give back. And that's what we all need to realize is that we are a global community and we need to also look out for others, you know, because if we're going to get through this, we're only as strong as the weakest link. Remember that. So look for um, a live stream from the man cave here. And I'm going to pose the question to you. I'm going to pose the question to you. Does Tony Romo belong with the Dallas Cowboys great and I want to have this discussion and that's going to be the name of the live stream we have and I'll probably do it maybe in about I don't know, about two hours or so I'm gonna go out here like I said while the weather is nice and I'm gonna till the yard some and uh, you know each day just do a little bit more a little bit more sooner or later you know it'll all be done and as you can see over here from my grass I might even cut some of the grass because it's actually doing pretty good. So that's all I got for you guys right now. And listen, if you've got some ideas of things you want to know, um, leave a comment. Um, I, I need to do a video on this whole thing right here because somebody has asked me. But let me give you like a little, little quick. Okay. Th this uh, fire pit right here. I actually built all this myself, did all the, the, the masonry work and everything else. And what I did, what we did was, this is my deck. So I cut a hole in the deck and I framed around it, okay? Under the deck, which is only like a crawl space, there's a, I, I dug down, poured some cement, and I ended up doing cinder blocks up from the foundation. And what I did, I bought this piece of, uh, shit, can't remember what you call this stone. But I actually took my angle grinder and I cut this opening out because actually on Amazon, if you go on Amazon, you can buy these fire pans. It's stainless steel. And underneath all this rock here, see that? There's tubes, tubes with holes in it. Those tubes, that's the burner. And you have the rocks in there, of course, which makes the flame look real nice and pretty. It's actually not rocks. It's actually, you can get rocks, but this is actually blue glass, like for my cowboys. And so the center of this is actually hollow. I, I cemented it in place so I don't knock it over. But I bent a piece of sheet metal right here. I've got the 
igniter. You hear that click, 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 click. It, sometimes it doesn't quite light it. I usually use a match. But there's a, a, a tube inside that goes to that key. So that key turns the gas on and the tube goes down under the deck here. And that's where the propane tank is, just a regular tank. So, you know, you can open up the little door under the deck there, grab the propane tank, screw on the, uh, or screw off the uh, hose, put another one on and boom. And when I want to come out here, like I said, sometimes the, you can hear the click, click, click. It'll ignite it real easy. Other times it doesn't, and I don't. I, it scares me. I, I don't. It, it builds up a lot of gas, and I said, "Okay," and 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 I, and I don't want to burn all the hair off me. So I'll go into detail on that, but that's just to give you a rough idea. But these burners, you can get them in square, rectangular, and all that stuff. So it's it's a great project, and for me to be able to come out here every night, I got a fire. It's a lot better than having to go around and get wood, and you don't smell like smoke either. So we'll talk about that one too later on. All right, guys. Damn. Flowers look pretty good out here. Damn. Another one of those things I did. I, I, I went, ran in the garden department and I grabbed a few pansies and put out here. And it makes it look a whole lot better. All right. I'll see you guys.